wonder if I left my keys in here. I can't find Oh, hi, Dr. Romano. I'm glad you're here. I, I was just trying to get out of here and go meet some of my friends for a party. Have you seen my keys? Why don't we forget the party and forget your friends? And since you're here, I got another question that I want you to film for my You Got Destroyer group. So come around. Oh, Dr. Romano, can I ever have any fun? No, there's no fun. Let's get to work. Um, okay, Dr. Romano. This is a very important question for the DAT. It says we have a zinc sulfate solution and it's going to be used to deposit zinc on a metal object. We're going to use 0.8 amps of current and we're going to do it for 48 hours. And I want to know how much zinc can be deposited. And I gave you one mole of electrons is 96,500 coulombs. So that you don't have to memorize for the debt. Now, anytime you get a problem in electrochemistry, now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to convert hours into seconds. Don't worry about the numbers here. Um, when you do this problem, do it with a calculator for the DAT exam. The numbers will be much nicer and easier to work with. But let's just use these numbers and let's go along with them. I would love you to know that 3,600 seconds equals one hour. That is a good number to remember just the way we know that seven days is a week. So 3,600 seconds is an hour allows me to convert hours into seconds. Now that we got 172,800 seconds, you're going to put up the formula. I equals Q over T. I call this the I quit formula. I stands for current. Current is in amps. Q is charge in coulombs. And T is time in seconds. So what I did is I simply plug in the numbers. We know we have 0.8 for the current, we have 172,800 seconds, and cross multiplying gives me 138,240 coulombs of charge. Unfortunately, they don't ask for coulombs of charge, so we got to go further. We want how much of zinc. So what we did is I went off to the side and I showed you how zinc sulfate breaks apart. It breaks up into a mole of zinc and a mole of sulfate. Since I'm interested in zinc, I'm going to go a little further, and you can see you need two moles of electrons to reduce down zinc plus two into solid zinc. Once we got that written down, we're ready for the kill. You take the 138,240 coulombs, and we have one mole of electrons. Now, if you cover this up for a second, it's easier. One mole of electrons is the 96,500 coulombs. Coulombs cancel out, we're left with moles of electrons in the numerator. Then I move over one more. There's two moles of electrons for every mole of zinc made. So if you use that conversion factor, you, are, you now cross out the moles of zinc, and you're left with, or well, moles of electrons you cross out, and you're left with moles of zinc. You multiply it by the grams of zinc in a mole, there's 65.4 grams of zinc in a mole, so what I do is I'm going to multiply the 138,240 by 65,4 divided by 96,500 over 2. I realize the numbers aren't so nice, but make sure you know how to do this problem. We got 46.8 grams of zinc. I hope that gives you a good idea on how to do this type of problem. It's extremely important. We have about three or four of them in the Dat Destroyer that you will certainly, certainly be challenged with. But if you understand this, you got the concept. I followed you, Dr. Romano. I think I'll, can I go to my party now? Not till you finish up typing up any new work that I have. So you can go back in the other room and check. So I'll let you go in the room and check for any additional work. But in the meantime, I'm going to leave and I'll say farewell to you. Okay, bye, Dr. Romano. Good day to you, sir. Good day. Boy, never any rest with him.